For the past two months, we've been putting the Eufy Make E1 UV printer through its paces. Let's talk about it. The Eufy Make E1 UV printer is launching right now on Kickstarter, and they're offering some exclusive pricing for early backers. If you decide the E1 looks like a good fit for you during the campaign, and you'd also like to support our channel, we've included our affiliate link down in the video description. But hey, if you're not ready to back the project during the Kickstarter, no worries at all. We promise to update that link in the description with a new one once the product is officially available for purchase after the campaign wraps up. If you follow us on social media, you might have caught our shorts featuring early projects using the Eufy Make E1 alongside our laser machines. In this video, we're diving deeper, covering our overall experience, the machine's specs, ink pricing, and more. Full transparency, Eufy Make provided this printer free of charge so we could test it thoroughly and share our honest thoughts with you. But as with every review on this channel, Eufy Make has no editorial input and hasn't seen this video before its release. This will be less of a step-by-step -step tutorial and more of an informational overview based on our experience. If you have questions that aren't answered here, please ask them in the comments. Also, check the description for links to some great videos by our creator friends. We've gradually expanded our channel beyond lasers and 3D printers into sublimation and DTF, but UV printers always seemed a bit intimidating, often appearing complex and industrial. We wanted to share our experience diving into this new technology as first-time users. Unboxing the E1, we were immediately pleased with its sleek, compact design. It ships with a mini bed, but features clever acrylic side doors that open to accommodate the standard bed, allowing prints up to 330 by 420 millimeters. The built-in filter does a good job reducing UV ink odor when closed, though you'll still notice a smell with larger prints. Since our workspace already has good ventilation for our lasers, this wasn't an issue for us, but maybe something to consider. Next, let's address what might be the most discussed feature of the Eufy Make E1, the ink cartridges. Traditional UV printers often use refillable tanks, which can lower long-term costs and allow for third-party ink options. The E1, however, uses sealed cartridges. At the time of this recording, and including tariffs the U.S. has on China, pricing is $42.99 for each 100 milliliter color or cleaning cartridge, or $300 for a full set. This really highlights the trade-off. You're paying more for convenience. Whether that's worth it is entirely subjective and up to the individual user. We're not here to convince you either way, especially since Eufy Make provided our ink for free. But we will say the system is undeniably easy. Popping in the cartridges and running the quick initialization was extremely straightforward, getting us ready to print almost immediately. The cleaning cartridge is also an all-in-one unit, conveniently holding both the fresh cleaning fluid and storing the waste liquid from cleaning cycles. We'll cover those cycles later. The initialization process itself was quite fast. To start, you apply the included sticky mats and test paper onto the mini bed. This mat will be what holds down your items while printing, but for this process you will want to leave the white paper to test the nozzle. The E1 has this sliding lock to attach the bed to the printer itself. You'll use a smartphone app to connect the printer to your network, perform any necessary firmware updates, and complete the setup. We found this process straightforward. Finally, the printer produces a test pattern, a row of printed lines for each color plus gloss. This visually confirms if any nozzles are clogged. Since our printer was brand new, the test looked perfect. So we peeled off the white test paper and moved on to our first print. The app provides a few example projects designed for the included ceramic magnets. We chose a cool, raised effect Statue of Liberty design. While that's printing, let's discuss how a UV printer like this works. It lays down a layer of ink, similar to a regular inkjet printer, but the special UV ink hardens instantly when exposed to UV light. The E1 sprays the ink right to left, then activates its UV lamp to cure it on the return pass, left to right. This printer can also use white ink to build up layers, creating a 2.5D or raised effect like you see on this magnet. 
This produces a really cool result, but adds significant time to prints and uses considerably more white ink. For context, this initial raised print took about 20 minutes, compared to under 4 minutes for a standard flat print. Here are a few of our favorite magnets. We tried different designs, photos, and print heights, and we really like how they all turned out. The colors are super vibrant, and we love the textured surface these offer. These magnets also clearly show how quickly adding height increases print time. For instance, making a magnet of this size with a 5mm height can easily take almost an hour. We found our sweet spot was around 0.5mm. It creates a really nice texture without taking too long to print. To really help us explore the E1's versatility and test its performance on different substrates, Eufy makes sent over a comprehensive box filled with various printable materials. This impressive selection gave us a great starting point. We received smooth ceramic tiles like the magnet bases you just saw, blank round ceramic coasters ready for designs, standard iPhone cases, metal water bottles, mugs, insulated tumblers, and even textured canvases and natural wooden panels. It was quite a diverse range to experiment with. Also included in the box were some steel wall panels, and that's precisely what we decided to tackle for our first large print to test out the standard print bed. If you've ever used a bed slinger style 3D printer, the E1's standard flatbed operates similarly. It moves back and forth during the printing process. While we set this up, let's quickly discuss the print preparation process in the software. When you're ready to print, there's a snapshot feature. This cleverly uses built-in lasers to automatically measure the height of your object on the bed. At the same time, it captures and stitches together images of the print area, allowing you to visually align your design precisely onto your item. We have a few more projects to share right after this, and then we'll jump into the software itself for a brief tour. We placed the metal panel down and started the print. We often slightly oversize our designs to ensure full edge-to-edge -edge coverage. As you can see, we placed a border of blue masking tape around our project. This helps reduce ink buildup directly on the flatbed from any overspray. You have a few options when it comes to what ink you use when printing. For this one, we went with a CMYK without first placing a white layer down. For larger prints like this, it works really well, especially when you already have a light gray or white panel or canvas. These panels are really nice and are dual-sided so you can switch up your decor by having two different images on each side. Now, let's look at some other projects we created using the standard bed. Canvases are such a great affordable option. Similar to the metal panel, we really enjoyed printing these with just CMYK inks, omitting the white base layer. This approach yields a really nice natural look that isn't too heavy with ink. While you might see examples of canvases with fully raised graphics, which look cool, we focused on more practical prints for this review, as those highly textured jobs can take many hours and consume a lot of white ink. Speaking of ink consumption, to give you a general idea based on all the projects shown in this video, throughout our testing, we replaced each color cartridge once, the gloss cartridge once, the cleaning cartridge once, and the white ink cartridge twice. If you're looking for a detailed breakdown of ink costs per specific print, we highly recommend checking out the excellent video by Bittner Built Woodworking here on YouTube. We've put a direct link in our video description for you. Also, we would like to say a huge thank you to all of our new subscribers. Welcome to Velf Creations. We hope that you are enjoying this video. If you want to see more cool videos about UV printing, 3D printing, laser engraving, and more, and haven't subscribed yet now is your chance. Along with canvases, we were really impressed with how the E1 prints on wood panels. Allowing the wood grain to show through gives it a fantastic, unique look. We also experimented successfully with acrylic to create some interesting stained glass effects. Furthermore, we combined the E1 with our laser cutter by printing onto custom wood light switch covers. We even printed directly onto 3D printed objects to produce cool NFC keychains and some fun glow-in-the-dark ones. All right, next up we have the rotary accessory. Here's a sneak peek at how awesome this rotary is. If any of you come from using laser engravers, you know rotary setups can be pretty basic, often just chucks or rollers with one motor, usually requiring you to measure the diameter or circumference every single time. Well, with the E1 rotary, 
all of this is done auto-magically for you. That's right. It auto-measures the item, auto-levels it, plus it updates the work area in the software to the exact printable dimensions. How cool is that? We have a few examples here of projects we made using the rotary, and honestly, we're really looking forward to experimenting with it more. The cool aspect is the broad compatibility. Basically, as long as the tumbler, water bottle, or mug physically fits into the rotary mechanism, you should be able to print on it. We had excellent results printing directly onto cups designed for sublimation, notably without needing any pretreatment or coating first. Okay, we have just a few more things left to cover creating stickers and navigating the software. Stickers are printed using either the mini or the standard flatbed directly onto a special type of DTF film. This film is coated to ensure the ink adheres correctly. Once the design is printed, you run the film through a laminator, which applies a clear transfer film over the top. Okay, let's dive into the software. The E1 utilizes its camera for precise design placement. Clicking the Snapshot button captures an image of your print bed. This takes about a minute for the mini bed, but allow a few minutes for the standard bed as it needs to take multiple images and stitch them together accurately. The software supports a wide range of file types, including SVG, PNG, JPEG, and more. For the stickers we mentioned, we simply imported our PNG files. Once the bed snapshot is loaded and your images are positioned, you have a few print style options. You can print flat or select a raised design, which adds uniform thickness across the sticker. Both of these modes are included free. There are also two other raised options, available through a subscription, which use AI to intelligently analyze the image and apply variable height for a more detailed, contoured texture. When you're ready to start the print, you can manually select ink layers, like color, white, their print order, and varnish settings. However, for many jobs, like stickers, there's a convenient preset. Choosing the sticker preset automatically configured the necessary layers and set the quality to high. Draft and standard quality levels are also available if you're setting up inks manually. Now, while that print job is running, let's take a quick tour through the rest of the software interface. The software's home screen shows a bunch of cool free projects ready for the E1. This is great because it lets you quickly import designs for things like iPhone cases, coasters, or canvases, and worry less about designing from scratch. Next, we have the Machine tab, which details the E1's automated upkeep. It runs a constant cleaning schedule to help prevent nozzle clogs and will automatically enter a moisturizing mode, as you can see in this screen recording we grabbed earlier. During this cycle, it ejects ink from the nozzles and replaces it with cleaning solution to protect the print head. When you want to print, simply click Inject Ink, and the printer handles the rest automatically. You can also manually trigger cleanings with three levels of thoroughness, but honestly, during our two months with the E1, the automatic systems worked so well we never needed to run a manual clean. Our only maintenance was swapping ink cartridges when they ran out. Finally, looking at the design canvas area, besides importing your own designs, Eufy Make provides a ton of elements in the left side menu from graphics to textures. It's really nice that they include all of this to help with creations. Okay, it looks like our stickers finished printing. That took about 20 minutes total. We quickly ran the sheet through the laminator and they are ready to go. Simply peel the sticker off the backing and apply it. That wraps up our video on the Eufy Make E1 today. We have genuinely enjoyed our time testing this printer. Here's one last look at all the diverse projects we were able to create, and we can't wait to see what you guys make. Let us know your thoughts in the comments below. If you're thinking about buying the E1 and want to support us, using our affiliate link in the description is much appreciated. Thank you for watching and stay creative.